This is the final tutorial in the series of how to make uh, the snowy scene and uh, we've gone through all the various animation techniques and the last thing that we need to do is to make this into a QuickTime movie. Now if you are part of my class you need to pay attention to the specifics of this if you're just watching this for fun and uh, you have no idea what class I teach then uh, you can do anything you want. If you're in my class uh, you do need to make this be a quick time movie and we are going to use MPEG-4 video compression. First thing to do is to come over here into your project window and to click on the composition which we have named base and uh, the next thing that you do is you go up here to composition and add to render queue and now we have added this to our render queue by doing that and you'll notice that a window has opened up down here that covers up the timeline it's called the render queue now that's a big surprise and if you look at the very bottom what you need to do to get this ready is to click on the word lossless and this is in After Effects 7 I'm not sure how this goes in CS3 or even CS4 since the school does not have that software I have not had a chance to play with it yet um, but uh, for After Effects 7 which is what is in the labs you click on the word lossless and this window will pop up at you and what you need to do is where it says format you want to open the options and make sure that you have QuickTime Movie selected and it is an alphabetical list so look for Q and click on QuickTime Movie now if you have not done anything um, before to render anything out in After Effects a window will pop open at you um, if it does not automatically pop open at you you can get to that exa exact same window by coming down here under video output and click on format options now what you need to do is where it says compression type you want to pop that open and you want to choose MPEG-4 video this is your video compression that is all that you need to do for the purposes of class it's fine to go ahead and leave it set to best if it's medium by default go ahead and choose best as your quality at the bottom once you have that set say OK and it will take you back to the previous menu and if you have audio in your uh, movie which we do not in this particular example but uh, for your animatic or for um, the one where you're doing the audio assignment you do need to make sure that audio output is checked and then say OK you're still not quite ready the next thing you need to do is go down here where it says output to and click on if it says not yet specified click on that mine says base one movie um, and then you need to name it and remember the naming convention that we use is last name first and then hyphen snow alright so it should be um, lichens beth hyphen snow dot mov in my case you would use your own name last name first uh, as you have been doing all semester thank you for being good about that by the way and then you tell it where you want to save it to and then you click on the word save and you still haven't rendered yet but you're ready to at this point clear over on the right hand side is a button called render when you click on the word render it will actually render through now before you click on it I want to call your attention up here to your composition window you should watch the composition window while it's rendering if you see your animation then everything is fine if you do not see your animation then that means you are rendering out a still picture or something and you will need to start over 
so I'm going to go ahead and render. And this is short, so it'll go fast. And then when you hear that happy little sound, that means that you have rendered. It is finished, and I saw my animation go across the screen. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to find my movie, which happens to live right over here. I always recommend that you open it up and play it just to make sure that everything is fine, and it is. So we have now successfully rendered out our movie uh, using the correct settings. Um, if something goes wrong, what you can do is you come down here to your render queue, you hit the name of the render, which is your comp name, and you delete it, just use the delete key, and for example it would be quite easy if you accidentally double clicked on snow.psd you'll notice how your composition window up here no longer says composition it says footage that is something that can very easily trip you up um, and if you're not paying attention and you go composition add to render queue and you go through you do your little thing all that good stuff. And the beautiful thing about this is that it remembers your settings, so now all you pretty much need to do is just double check its QuickTime movie. It, for some reason, wants to keep going back to animation as opposed to MPEG-4, so we'll change that. You say OK, you say OK, and right here I can tell I've got a problem if I, if I know what I'm looking at because it's called snow, but uh, I'm just going to leave it set to that right now and I'm going to render and what happens if you're not paying attention is that yes it rendered I wasn't watching my composition window and I come over here and I see snow.mov it's like okay I can rename that later open it up and I have a QuickTime movie that is nothing but snow and uh, I need to look at it just half size here because my resolution is so small and when I play it I have three seconds worth of nothing. Okay, so that is one of the things that can trip you up very easily. So if that happens, just delete it from the render queue. Come up here into what your composition window is. Make sure it says footage. Close that window. Make sure that you have base selected. Composition. Add to render queue and there you go. And then you'll be able to go ahead and do your settings and render out your QuickTime movie correctly.